back to eights now, the Temple Challenge Cup. The Dutch on the left of your picture on the Berkshire Station, Newcastle University A, nearest to Temple Island. And they're very frantic early, aren't they? Look at that, that rate from Newcastle. Yeah, this is a great event. This is the event for student eights. So not necessarily the most experienced athletes, but absolutely determined to have a go. Not sure what the form is of each crew. And so possibly the best tactic is to just blast off as hard as you can and right. hope, hope to break the opposition crew. Here we have Newcastle on the near side with the stars on their blades, uh, looking neat, um, lengthening out into the rhythm they want to sustain through the middle of the course. Yeah, that's a big maximum effort for the first minute of the race, clear for all to see. But uh, it's the Dutch have taken an early lead, University of Groningen, who are just sitting on that lead nicely now. Yeah, I mean, Groningen is a fantastic club in, uh, in the Netherlands. Um, they put this crew together for Henley Regatta, um, some experienced lightweights plus some powerful, uh, bigger guys in the boat there. Um, their coach uh, actually won the Grand here at Henley Regatta in 2006, so some real experience and love for the Henley course from a great crew, and you can really see them taking an early advantage over Newcastle. And look at that for an advantage up near Remenham Club. They've surged ahead. Yeah, it's a, it's a great crew and, and really good tradition, as I say, of rowing uh, from Groningen in the Netherlands. These are the guys, if you're a fashion uh, aficionado... I'm uh, not, you're as not, you Tim? probably noticed. Uh, if you're a fashion aficionado, then the blazers you see around the enclosures in Henley delight many people. There are some which are over 80 years old, and they're worn by these guys. They're handed down from crew to crew. Uh, they get damaged, they get repaired, usually the crew say by their grandmothers, uh, and um, they are choice pieces of rowing history, uh, walking around the enclosures. So look out for them if you're visiting Henley later in the week. Yeah, they are uh, a big part of the Henley fashion, aren't they? Great uh, standout. They look well worn for those 80 years. They certainly do. They, they can tell some tales, those, uh, those jackets. So here we see, here we see the crew, uh, nice, loose, relaxed, with rhythm uh, from the Dutch. Uh, they've had some, the, the Dutch often produce really amazing, fluid, um, technically uh, strong eights. And this is a student crew. Uh, but looking uh, looking pretty good and pretty comfortable ahead of Newcastle. Newcastle also attracts some really good junior talents. They can see um, a bit more of a frantic stroke from them, not quite as uh, long uh, and fluid, and therefore both not moving uh, quite as fast. Although some big guys there in the Newcastle crew are spotting there at six, Dave Wilcox, who's 123 kilos, big man in the middle of that Newcastle boat, but no match uh, for the Dutch, who are now relaxed and um, conserving energy in the final stages of the course. You can see the Cox there for the Dutch, Lind van Tilburg, who's studying industrial engineering and management at the university. She'll be enjoying the industry of her boat at the moment. They've uh, put together a good race. Yeah, really strong race. I think the, the Newcastle uh, guys would be a bit disappointed by this. I think they, they were hoping that they might do rather better against the, uh, the Dutch crew, but of course they didn't have much form to go on in engaging the Groningen uh, crew. And as I say, these guys really put together with the purpose of winning at Henley, and it looks like they're off to a good start uh, in that campaign uh, here. They beat um, Cornell by two lengths yesterday, and looks like they have a bigger verdict over the students from Newcastle University today. The Dutch trying to recapture the Temple Challenge Cup. Nehru's won the competition in 2015, and Oxford Brooks beat Harvard last year comfortably. But based on what we've seen, the Dutch could be back in the Temple Challenge Cup come Sunday. Good performance from them against Newcastle University A. Just paddling up to the line now in front of Stewards. Stewards already rammed, standing room only. In stewards still early on day two of Henny Raw Regatta. Big crowds in to watch the University of Groningen of the Netherlands in the Temple Challenge Cup. Beat Newcastle University. Great way from the Dutch. Well done, the Groningen crew, and a good effort from the Newcastle crew. Absolutely exhausted. That's their Henley done. I suspect we'll see some of them. Uh, at the bars of Henley later. Yeah, Groningen need to keep working, and uh, Newcastle at the bars.